In the absolute silence of deep space, where no air carries sound and no light reaches unattained, Voyager 2 has been drifting farther than any of us dared to imagine. A ghost ship powered by decaying atoms, endlessly sailing into the black unknown, transmitting fragments of distant realities back to us. But recently, something changed. One of those fragments, an image buried beneath waves of harmless data, was rediscovered. Not by accident, but through artificial intelligence trained to spot what the human eye could never see. And what it found was chilling. It wasn't a glitch or a random blur. It was structure, design, purpose, a hidden image that confirms what so many feared, but never dared to speak aloud. Voyager 2 didn't just witness space, it might have witnessed something watching us. Join us on the enigmatic journey of why, as we delve into another mystery surrounding Voyager 2 just made an impossible discovery after 45 years in space. Since their launch in the 1970s, Voyager 1 and 2 have become more than just machines. They are the furthest extensions of human curiosity. While Voyager 1 took the lead through Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2 was assigned an even stranger trajectory. The forgotten planets, Uranus and Neptune. It wasn't just about visiting them. It was about rewriting what we knew. Voyager 2's flyby of Saturn in 1981 shocked scientists when it captured an intricate image of Saturn's outermost F-ring, revealing complex braids and kinks that defied the neat static assumptions we'd made about ring systems. Instead of uniformity, there was chaos and order fused, a kind of sculpted beauty that hinted at something more than random gravity at work. But it was its visit to Uranus in 1986 that sent real tremors through the astronomical world. Voyager didn't just fly past a cold spinning planet. It revealed secrets hiding in plain sight. Undiscovered moons, unexpected rings, magnetic chaos. It passed through a plasmoid, an entire structure of planetary magnetism and didn't just record it, it survived it. That image, the one recently flagged, was taken just before Voyager crossed through Uranus's magnetic field, before something odd happened with its instruments. Years later, long after Voyager 2 had made its historic passes and entered the outer heliosphere, NASA handed over terabytes of old image data to independent research groups and private AI developers to analyze. These weren't new transmissions, but raw archives, many of which had never been reprocessed with modern technology. One such dataset came from Uranus. An image long believed to be static noise was run through a new AI filter designed to detect non-random visual anomalies. What emerged was something astonishing. Amid icy blue static and magnetic noise was a faint but undeniable symmetry. At first glance, it resembled a torus, a ring shape often seen in magnetic simulations. But the inner pattern, too precise, too clean, resembled circuitry. Not just shapes, but alignments, as if something artificial had briefly entered Voyager's field of view, or worse, had been there all along. The team double-checked the source. The data hadn't been altered. This was raw, original transmission. As Voyager 2 moved past the edge of the solar system, it crossed the heliosphere, the invisible bubble that protects Earth and its neighboring planets from galactic radiation. Most thought it would go silent, or that readings would become meaningless beyond this threshold. But in 2018, something unexpected happened. Voyager's plasma wave instrument picked up a faint, persistent hum. At first, it was dismissed as background noise, the natural turbulence of interstellar space. But when analyzed more closely, it was revealed to be a signal, not a transmission. 
but a consistent tone representing the density of plasma outside the solar bubble. This was a first in human history, a live, continuous reading of the material that floats between the stars. But the real shock came when that density began to fluctuate in rhythm, a rising and falling pulse, slow and deliberate, that scientists described as eerily regular. Voyager 2, now 14 billion miles from Earth, was listening to something that was not supposed to have rhythm, not supposed to have structure. Some began to wonder, was it picking up something natural that mimicked intelligence, or something intelligent that mimicked nature? Amid the chatter surrounding this hidden image, many researchers returned to Voyager's most iconic photo, the pale blue dot. Earth suspended in a sunbeam, reduced to less than a pixel. But what if that perspective wasn't unique to us? What if something else had already been watching long before Carl Sagan asked us to reflect on our fragility? The new AI-enhanced image from Voyager 2 had a chilling resonance with this question. The symmetry, the precision, the proximity to Uranus's plasmoid event all pointed toward the possibility that Voyager's instruments caught a presence not visualized in full, but hinted at through geometry, electromagnetic distortions, and plasma behavior. A presence that appeared and vanished, never again repeated, as if it was watching, not revealing. Scientists are now debating whether this image might represent the first accidental photograph of something entirely other something that exists beyond visibility, but leaves behind just enough of a signature for us to notice. Not a message, a footprint. Shortly after the hidden image was flagged by AI, a retired mission engineer came forward with a forgotten log entry dated 1986, recorded amid Voyager 2's Uranus encounter. The entry mentioned a brief unexplained data surge lasting 2.4 seconds, during which several onboard sensors recorded minor but synchronized voltage irregularities. These were dismissed at the time as interference from Uranus's unstable magnetosphere. But when overlaid with the timestamp of the recently discovered image, the alignment was perfect. That moment of visual anomaly matched the very instant Voyager 2 experienced what's now being reconsidered as a near-field proximity event. If accurate, this would mean something passed close, very close to the spacecraft. But what's truly alarming is what didn't happen. No collision, no damage, no change in trajectory. It's as if the object was able to maneuver perfectly around Voyager or perhaps phase through it. The idea sounds absurd until you realize that Voyager's instruments weren't malfunctioning. They were overwhelmed. Something affected every system at once, and then vanished. The AI that first uncovered the hidden image was designed for object recognition, color correction, and structural pattern matching. But during extended runs on the Voyager dataset, it began to behave unpredictably. It halted processes mid-cycle. It flagged harmless data as critical. In one documented case, it even auto-terminated an image analysis loop after interpreting the pattern as a cognitive feedback hazard. The development team dismissed this as an overfit, a classic case of the AI being too sensitive. But some began asking, what if the algorithm didn't fail? What if it was reacting to something it recognized as conscious? In deep learning, Models can be tuned to recognize intentionality in data, such as recognizing human faces in crowd footage or detecting coordinated movement in satellite imagery. But this AI exposed to Voyager's hidden image may have sensed structure far beyond passive order. Not just math, not just geometry. Something like awareness, something that looked back. While public attention focused on the visuals, Others turned their eyes to the data surrounding the transmission itself. Voyager 2's signal strength is weak, degraded by decades and billions of miles. 
but embedded within those streams are plasma wave fluctuations, faint echoes of space itself. One physicist noted that during the moment the hidden image was captured, the wave data aligned into a near-perfect fractal spiral. That pattern repeated once, then again, and it stopped. Across decades of space probe data, nothing similar has ever been recorded. The implication, the spiral wasn't a natural occurrence. It may have been a response, a pulse sent not from Voyager, but to Voyager, like a knock on a door, waiting for it to be answered. Perhaps the most disturbing idea emerged not from a scientist, but from an anthropologist who'd been studying ancient cartography. When shown the AI-enhanced Voyager 2 image, she claimed that its structure resembled star maps found in Babylonian stonework and Aboriginal Dreamtime depictions. Circular patterns, intersecting arcs, central nodes. She wasn't suggesting aliens had visited Earth. She was suggesting that whatever Voyager saw and whatever those ancient cultures sensed may have come from the same universal memory. Perhaps human beings have always had glimpses of what lies beyond the veil. And now, thanks to a robotic scout flung into the dark half a century ago, we finally have photographic proof to back it up. The hidden image isn't just data. It may be a map, not of where we've been, but of where something else already is. Voyager 2 was built to observe, not to intervene, to witness, not to warn. And yet, after decades of silent flight through the vast darkness, it has become something far more than a machine. It's become the messenger of a truth we weren't prepared to hear. Hidden within the static, buried in forgotten frames and dismissed anomalies, lies a single image, one that whispers a question too big to ignore. What if something was already out there, waiting for us to notice? This isn't fiction. This is data. This is science colliding head-on with mystery. And the moment we allowed artificial intelligence to enhance what human eyes had overlooked, we uncovered not chaos, but intention, patterns, pulses, and symmetry that don't occur by chance. Voyager 2 may have crossed more than just the border of our solar system. It may have crossed into someone else's domain, a place where we are not pioneers, but intruders. And now that we've seen it, now that the veil has slipped even slightly, the world has changed. Because the greatest fear is no longer being alone in the universe. The greatest fear is that we're not and never have been. If this video opened your eyes to the possibility that we've already made contact, even unknowingly, then you need to be part of what comes next. Subscribe for future revelations as more images are decoded. Comment below. Do you believe Voyager captured something real? Or are we seeing what we want to believe? Share this video because the silence in space just spoke and we can't afford to ignore it. Thank you for joining us today on Why. Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting why adventure, and until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is Why, signing off.